We all love Saint Joseph. We love Saint Joseph because he was a humble man and also a holy man, but also a deep man. There's something about his depth that attracts us. And the reality is, is that you know, each one of us is called to live a deep interior life. As the scripture says, deep calls unto deep. God is infinitely deep. He made us in his image and likeness. We have a depth too. And so we're supposed to live a deep, beautiful life. No Christian is supposed to live a shallow life. And we see this with St. Joseph, who lived a deep life, yet a very ordinary life, a simple life, a hidden life, a life with much silence. And as a reminder to each one of us, our life, most of our life is ordinary. Nothing too spectacular. We do the things that people do every day. But we're supposed, we're supposed to do them living out of our depths. They say every moment carries the weight of eternity. And it's the saints who recognize that. They can, they can sense eternity in every moment, even the simple, ordinary, mundane moments, because they're living in the presence of God. And they know that God is at work. We see this in the scriptures today so clearly in 2 Samuel, the first reading, it talks about the foretelling of the Messiah. God is up to something wonderful, something big. And then in the psalm, the psalm repeats in these, I think it was it three, four stanzas, stanzas, it repeats the word forever, four times. I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord, forever. With my mouth I will proclaim your faithfulness to all generations. God is working throughout the generations. I declare that your steadfast love is established forever. God's love endures forever, and he's loving us right now in every moment. Your faithfulness is as firm as the heavens. And then in the second reading, we hear about the, the, the call of Abraham. And Abraham, he believed. He believed that God is God, and he's doing something wonderful, something mysterious, something great. You know, some people say they believe in God, but their actions don't, don't confirm that. You know, some people say they believe in God, but they only do God's will if it's convenient. We see that in a lot of our, our countries with, with some so-called Christian leaders. They pay, pay lip service to God, but if they really did believe that God is God, they would let God be God and stop playing God. If God is God, then let God be God. Give him his rightful place. And so Abraham, he didn't just play lip service to God. He let God be God. At an old age, he left everything and started wandering because God was calling him. He followed just like St. Joseph. St. Joseph, what, what, his life was an ordeal, one ordeal after another. We can say, praise God, just like my life. <laughs> Most of us, we got our fair share of ordeals, amen? amen? But do we believe that God is God? For a person of faith, they would say, what else is there but doing God's will? Is there any other option? If you know that God is God, there's only one option in life, and that's doing the will of God. And then we hear Jesus in the gospel today, did you not know that I must be in my Father's house? Jesus knew who he was. He knew whose he was. He knew his identity, his dignity, his authority, his destiny. He knew what he was about. And we too, again, we're, we're created with this depths. Depths. We're supposed to know who's, who we are and whose we are, our identity, dignity, authority, and destiny. And this experience of, of who we are, whose we are, is meant 
to be an abiding reality in the ordinary, simple life, just like St. Joseph, the carpenter, the, the family man, the father, the husband, the man of silence. And so we look to St. Joseph and we say, I want to be just like him. <laughs> I want to be holy, I want to be humble, I want to be faithful, a good worker, I want, to, uh, I want to do the will of God in my life. And when I don't understand God's will, I still want to keep going, surrender to him, trust, trusting him that he's doing something good. And so let's turn to St. Joseph. Let's ask St. Joseph to teach us to live a deep and holy life.